This is Mike Kavanaugh with Hero News, and I'm here with a very attractive and handsome Corey Mock. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you doing? Oh my God, you look a little like Bradley Cooper. I'm a little in awe. I, yeah, doppelganger, I guess. Tell me where you're from and how'd you get to New York? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, um, a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio. I got to New York um, by way of graduating from a four-year program um, where the musical theater majors kind of just moved to New York automatically after the four years, if they want to, but most do. Um, almost everybody does. Uh, so I came here and uh, just started pursuing uh, musical theater as a career. How long did it take you moving to New York to get your first gig? Oh, um, well, I, I moved to New York uh, the day before graduation because I, I was I was cast in a Newsies workshop. But um, okay, so he got a Newsies workshop before he even graduated. Yes, um, and then uh, a month before that, which was showcase, I had my first audition, which was for uh, the Wicked tour, and I found out four months later that I, I got that job. So. Right, so his first real audition, he gets the tour of Wicked. Not too shabby, I have to say. Yeah, not too shabby. How was touring with Wicked? Tell me about it. It was amazing. It was it was a year. It's uh, it's a great show to be with. They take really good care of you. There's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by. Resume. I mean, you're a young kid. How old are you? I'm 24. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I feel like an old bag right now. But let's say, let's just say you've done such a breadth of work. I mean, Chess you've done and Harold and Maude, one of my favorite, favorite movies in the world. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, my, um, my professor in school uh, would kind of take some students off and do uh, regional work with them. And we would also do some really really great pieces of musical theater in in college I was blessed to go to a school Baldwin Wallace uh, conservatory um, uh, where they they were really ambitious about what what uh, musicals they chose um, for for their students uh, we did wild party chess uh, title of show Brooklyn um, some some pieces that no one else was doing um, ex except uh, maybe three months later it had just closed in in New York so um, we were the first we She's, um, our, my professor Vicky is, or my old professor I guess, uh, just was really, really anxious about getting uh, brand new work that no one else had done except at, in the, on a professional stage in New York. Um, so it was really cool to get those opportunities to do those shows. So you go, go off the tour of Wicked and then you end up back in New York and then a little thing happens like you get your first Broadway show. Tell us about that. I got my first Broadway show on tour, so I... Okay. <laughs> Charmed life or what? <laughs> I... I I had put in my notice for Wicked because I, I, I felt like a year was a great, a great time. You've been wicked enough. To spend on tour, yeah. I was, I was plenty wicked. Um, so um, I, I, I started auditioning uh, probably f uh, five or six weeks um, before I left and um, just was going back and forth to New York for random stuff and to see friends and auditions and stuff. And, um, and the gospel team liked what I had to offer. Were you jumping up and down when you got it? I was literally jumping up and down. Yes, I can remember the exact moment. Um, what did you do? What did I do? Um, I called my mom and then called my professor and then called my entire family. And I mean, Broadway debut, that's a, that's a huge honor. Did you get sloppy drunk? Did I get sloppy drunk? Uh, yeah. That's what I do when I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy right now. Anyway. You're playing Jesus and Judas as and everything else. Everything else, yeah. Just um, five roles. I, I cover five roles in Godspell. Um, Jesus, Judas, uh, and there's three ensemble tracks as well. So, Corey, on the website for Godspell, it says you have an affinity for mind reading. Is that true? I, I may have been joking, but I may have been joking, but maybe what I meant was that I can kind of tell people's... Uh, like hidden personalities, oh, really? maybe. What color is my underwear? It's white right now. Oh my God, you're so right. <laughs> if I was wearing it. So Corey, what do you do to relax? You're so busy. I uh, like to go to the gym a lot. Okay, uh, they all say that, and you know what? It's work. It's another job. If I'm not lifting pints of beer, 
I'm not happy. Look, what really? You're actually completely correct. It is kind of another job. Um, I mean, to be in this business, you you have you have to pay complete complete and utter attention to your appearance because I mean that's really like 75 percent of it. Um, so yeah, I. It's really unfortunate how unattractive you are. <laughs> I, it, it is an important part of of my career, so I have to kind of step it up at the gym every so often. Yeah. yeah. All the music in life seems to be like a bell that is ringing for me. And from the way that I feel when that bell starts to peal, I would swear I was falling. I could swear I was falling. It's all Corey, tell me, are you single? Yeah. Yes. You are single. Okay, so listen, I always say this. If you want to stalk Corey, go backstage. You give jewelry. You give diamonds. You give liquor. The liquor he'll give to me because he can't Maker drink. Mark. Yeah. Make, oh, he likes Maker's Mark. So do I. So please bring that in bottles, and we will maybe, maybe let you talk to this very handsome man. All right, Corey, what is quirky about you? Um... I'm actually a big nerd, a little, a little bit of a nerd. Okay, how so? Um, I, I'm really nitpicky with things, and I'm very specific with how I do things, um, and I'm a little uh, OCD, a little bit. Give us an example of how you're nitpicky. Just my room is always just very clean. I like my roommates to be clean. The kitchen is always clean, and there's always, like, a candle lit and, like, fresh flowers and, um, like... Yeah, I think that's what's nerdy about me. Oh God, he's a neat freak. He was in my apartment. He must have been. Ah! <laughs> oh, well. Sorry about that. No, your apartment was gorgeous. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Corey, it's now time to do either or. Just answer as quick as you can. Okay. All right, ready? Older men or younger men? Older men. Grinder or manhunt? Neither. Clubbing or hanging out with friends? Hang out with friends. GQ or Vogue? GQ. Madonna or Gaga? Gaga. Brains or beauty? Brains. Okay, yeah, you're lying. <laughs> um, classical or rap? <laughs> classical. Summer or winter? Summer. Dating one or playing the field? Dating one. Lights off or in the dark for a sec? Lights off. Cocktail or beer? Cocktail. Working out or being lazy? Working out. Romantic movie or horror movie? Mm, horror movie. All right, and naked or PJs in bed? Depends on who you're with. All right, well, you should never have PJs on when you're this cute, so I have to say that. So, Corey, as you know, we're a site for newly diagnosed people living with HIV. Do you have any message out there about being safe and protected, especially for people young like you? Yes. Um, I mean, it's, it's really the most important thing. I mean, I can't think of anything more important than being safe when having sex, uh, especially, I mean, using a condom, just always, always being completely open with a partner is, is, is what I strive to do and what I, and what I would, would tell others to do. Just be completely um, open and uh, so, so they're, they're, the trust isn't broken. Just get tested together. That's my advice. And, you know, our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think yeah. condoms are hot? Yeah, make it a condom party. Yeah, or like testing party. Make it a party. I don't know. All right, you heard it from Corey, so please follow his advice and please do that. Permitting some prophet of doom to wipe every smile away. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Only a cabaret, old chum. Thank you so much for being our Broadway Hero of the Month. Of I wish you great success. Please go see him in Godspell. It's an amazing thing. Theater in the round. Such a fun show. Thank you so much for being our Broadway Hero of the Month for summer, actually. The first summer Broadway Hero. Thank you. Thank you.